Hi everyone, I am Alan Numa. In this video, I will introduce you to Autodesk Inventor, which will be the CAD software we will be using throughout our multiple tutorials. I will also show you the file menu in Autodesk Inventor, and I will help you set up your first project folder. So before we get started, I wanted to quickly introduce myself so you know who I am and my experience in VEX. I have done VEX robotics for six years now, and I just recently graduated from Beckman High School. In terms of CAD, I have used Autodesk Inventor on the Beckman Robotics team for the last four years to CAD both our robots and create our custom polycarbonate parts. So now I'm going to switch over to Autodesk Inventor. So when you first open up Autodesk Inventor, you'll be confronted with a screen like this. One of the things you'll notice right away is there are a lot of options and buttons for you to click on. I know this looks overwhelming and it was for me when I first started to use Autodesk Inventor. However, you do not need to worry because most of these features are relevant for our purposes. So the first thing I want to show you is the file menu. So if you go to the top of your screen, you'll see this orange button called file. So when you click on that, you'll be the file menu will open up. This is where you'll do everything regarding opening your files, to saving them, to creating new CAD files. So here's the new button. The new button is where you'll create your new CAD files. As you can see, there are multiple different file types. You've got an assembly file, a drawing file, a part file, and a presentation file. The only one you need to concern yourself with is assembly. Assemblies, the type of file we'll be using in this tutorial series, which we will cover in a later video. And then here's your open button. This is where you'll open previously saved files to view and continue working on them. You'll just simply hit open and then you'll search for your file. Then here are your save buttons. You got save and save as. This is where you'll save your files. The rest of the buttons here are not too important for our purposes, so you won't really co be covering them, but they're pretty standard buttons you'll find under a typical file menu. So now we're going to exit our file menu. Just click anywhere else on your screen, and you'll be able to exit out of it. So next, I'm going to help you set up your first project folder. This is the folder where you can place and organize your CAD files. To create a new one, first click on this projects button located at the top of your screen. Once you click on it, you'll be confronted with a menu like this. Since we want to create a new project folder, we'll hit the new button, which is located right here. Once you click on new, you'll be confronted with a menu like this. It will ask you what type of project folder you want to create. We will be creating a new single user project folder, which is the option right here. So make sure you have that one selected. After that, you can hit next, which is right here. And then here, you can name your project folder. So the name of your folder should provide you with enough information about what project you are working on. This will help you organize your files and find them again when you need them. For me, I'm gonna name it Summer Academy Tutorial CAD Files. That's, I'm naming it that because that's what I'm doing right now. And in terms of the file location, which is the thing right here, just leave it be use the default location. The default location will be under your documents folder. It'll create a new inventor folder and then it'll place your project folder in there. So now we're all done with creating a project folder, so you can hit finish, which is right here. Simply hit finish. If you get this weird error message, just ignore it, you'll be fine, and just hit OK. And after that, we're all done. So that concludes our lesson for today. For the next video, we will start diving into how to use assemblies. Thank you.